Wait, is this actual proper 4-3? Oh no, I was hoping it was uh, the, the D-pad thing again. I saw the body of the bridge keeper engulfed in flame. I saw the bridge created by one third. Tomorrow I saw the soul of the bridge keeper reduced to ash. I saw the bridge created by two thirds. Oh shit. That was me. Today the mind of the bridge keeper shall meet with its destiny. I shall see the bridge extend beyond the realms. The many children of the king shall leap and dance and sing praise in his name. For his wisdom and his benevolence. The book of the bridge. Should have done with this the moment the world you came. I should have done this the moment you came to this world, demon child. My God, forgive me for having a part in your creation. See, so yeah, if you didn't watch the earlier games, there's this evil spirit thing, and we kind of actually fucked up by destroying its body and its soul. So now we're like one step away from a horrible murder, screaming dimension of pain, from engulfing the human world. Yeah, John Defoe is the bridge keeper. And he's two-thirds destroyed. Yeah, live streams... Well, they're live, so all of the, te the, the scheduling issues happen, unfortunately. Left is body, right is his soul. We, we destroyed his body when we, when we shot him and burned him and stuff. But the idol was the soul. And I... Don't think we know what the mind is. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how we're gonna get the mind, but apparently that's what this game is. So. All right. So we're right between those two games. Optimology. Left click to walk. Right click to on hotspots to open the menu. Oh, so we're back to game two's design. I like how Trilby's notes worked. Let's just leave. Let's just go out the door. Can't leave until I've spoken with one Mr. Garriott. Seems a little quiet. Let's turn that up just a bit. Reception desk. Hands. Something on the other side of the desk, almost as if it's been cleared out. Use the computer. Oh, wait. It's optimal. I thought it was like opt optology or... Well, optometry. Is that the eye thing? Optometrist? This is ophthalmologist. It's a Scientologist, you know, reference. And this was before, is this before or after Dead Space? Because Dead Space does that too. To reread items in your journal, click the journal button. Ooh. Life becoming a struggle? Need a guiding hand? Want to become part of the world's fastest growing family? Ophthalmology is a religion catered for you. Taking the best parts of all previous religions to create a new way of thinking. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> like, yeah, everybody likes Jesus, but we like Mohammed too, so we're just gonna put them together, and Buddha. We're gonna put them in this corner. <laughs> Get fucked, bitch. Don't even, just, if somebody comes in the chat and asks about, oh my god, what are the rules in this chat? Like, it's that's just one of those losers trying to be annoying. Just ban them. It's just the same dude making new accounts to be annoying. Like, if, if somebody walks in and the first comment they make is about, like, somebody just got recently got banned, like, here, what is the rules? Somebody did that in Discord, too. Uh, just, that's just one of, that's just an alt. Never feel bad about banning an alt. Anyway. <laughs> so it's just all of the good parts of religion put into one, including the red robes. I mean, the problem with Christianity is that you don't get to wear a, a nice red robe, you know? Mr. Garriott, I'm from the city co county council. What? My name's DeCobb. I called you a week ago about running inspection of your facilities. Oh, no, we're, we're back to I can't stop the text from constantly advancing. The council has been informed that I will be extending the that you may be extending your premises without planning permission. I just need to take a look around to make sure you aren't. I'm sure this guy in a spooky robe won't murder me. Is it is it completely necessary? It's just a precaution entirely routine. Could you come back another time? Well, actually, no. I have to get this done before the end of the week, and this is my only free time slot. I see. Is there a problem? No, not at all. 
See, I know this guy's gonna die because his, his text isn't white. The protagonist always has white text. I'd be obliged. So this guy's gonna die and then we're gonna find the real protagonist. Where's the, yep. <laughs> and into the ravine. I like how they just have an open elevator shaft just in case somebody comes in and is being too nosy. Day one, July 24th. Hmm. Wonder what's gonna happen in four days. Told you I have no idea who he is. Why should you care? I'm a doctor for God's sake. Seems terribly convenient. So if you don't think if he was our agent, why would he find a way to get down here without smashing to pieces? Oh wait, that's our guy. Wait, why, why is Trilby alive? A broken neck is not something I call convenient. Don't think of me a fool. He arrives now of all t times and he consists in c his convenience? Or a coincidence. What else could it be? Urk. He's awake. Can you hear me? Do you know your name? Can you tell me your name? Dekab. Theodore Dekab. Name Samantha Hardy. What's happening? How much do you remember? Wait, this game is actually in 4-3. What a relief. Stop talking to him. I don't want either of you saying another word until my employer gets here. I assume he was just talking about the people... Uh, no one leaves, no one breathes until my employer tells me what is to be done. God damn you. That doesn't seem like a trilby kind of thing to say. Excuse me. That would violate a personal space. Oh, I'm this guy. Am I? Bounce myself gently to test the mattress and a jolt of pain ran up my spine. Okay, yeah, I'm that guy. Talk to myself. It won't... I don't reply to myself. Here, use my cell phone. Oh, right. Um, I think I have... Yeah, let me get a guide up, just in case. Because, yeah, the, the point-and-click ones did get kind of stupid. I didn't really have troubles with Trilby. The, Trilby's nose was really good. What's up, buddy? Psst. Samantha looks at me questioningly. Uh, point the guard, point the console. Employer. She points at me, then mimes cutting her throat imminent, meaningfully. Uh. Pick the guide with the most kilobytes. I think there's only one guide. Th there's just one, and there's French. I don't think the French one will help me. Uh, yeah, Trilby's notes was great. Point to the desk. Get away from there. Well, screw you, Trilby. to the door. She shrugs. Point to the guard. Samantha shrugs and shakes her head, indicating she doesn't think she can reason with her to defeat the guard. Okay. Uh, console. She shakes her head and mouths the word password. Mouth the word password. She shrugs. She has no idea. Uh, privacy screen. She has no idea how to activate it. Uh, desk, privacy screen. I've kind of done everything already. Journal. I don't think she would want that. What do you mean you don't think so? Oh, right click to examine. Lobby pamphlet. What? Oh. Why can't you just double click on it? Yahtzee is no UI designer, I, I, I will admit that. How is this game right? I think people, I think this one is supposed to be, I think the way most people like them is, I think Trilby's Notes is everybody's favorite. I, everybody seems to hate uh, Seven Days a Stranger, and I think this one and the first one are kind of good-ish, like, I don't know. Oh wait, I didn't talk to the guard. Converse. 
Please. Quiet. If you explain yourself to my employer when he arrives. Jeez, Trilby. Who? Quiet. Oh, shut up. I need... Quiet. Uh. Erg. What's the matter now? This condition may be degrading. Facilities here are very understocked. Move aside. I'm gonna check him. Obviously supposed to do something when he walked over. Wasn't there another game? Uh, which is something? Grab. I grab the slip of paper from his pocket while he leans over. Um, the witch's uh, crap. I think it was like witch's hut or something. That's totally unrelated to these. Um, but I'll be streaming some more uh, horror games uh, in uh, in November. Witch's house. Yeah. He can slip the paper from his pocket while he leans over. He doesn't seem to notice. That has got the password. I pull the note to Samantha. She glances at it, then nods understandingly and pockets it. I have a bunch of other horror stuff to get to. That won't help you. Can't see you. It's only one way out of here. I'm Southern now. Oh shit! You. I remember you. Hi, Prince. Rest in pieces, Trilby. Don't look. But what's going on? Don't look! Ow. <laughs> okay. Rip, Trilby. Hurts a lot. How much do you remember? Look, I'm just a council inspector. I was sent here to run an inspection on the building. Some lunatic upstairs pushed me down the elevator shaft. Then I wake up here. Could you please explain to me what the hell is going on? It fell to the very bottom of the shaft. We're now within a complex underground laboratory. What do the ophthalmologists need it for? Ophthalmology is a front. A money-making, crowds bleaking facade disguised the true organization. Of course it's a cult. Oh, God damn it! it's them. It's the Order of Blessed Agonies. A bunch of masochistic freaks who work with some, worship some mad death god. Okay, so why do they have a laboratory complex? Why were you sent to expect the building? The police told me that they received a tip. The up to, uh, cultists were building something. Since they didn't have planning permission, I had to see if there was any truth to it. Seems there was. Complex isn't documented in any records of this site. I think you better talk to Jen Janine. Got a feeling you're the person she's been waiting for. Who? The other prisoner. She and I were being held captive down here by one of the cultists. You mean the man who was guarding us? Where'd he go, anyway? <laughs> the man in the hat was just a mercenary, I think, hired to guard the place. Our captor is still around here somewhere. Janine and I only escaped from 
our cell this morning. We're looking around for a way out when you arrived. I dragged you in here and the guard found me. We gotta call the police. No can do until we get to the surface. Something's blocking our communications. With the three of us against one man, we should be able to get negotiate our way out. Janine's supposed to be finding us some weapons. Find her. I apologize for placing a burden on you in your current state, but I have urgent matters to see to. Oh, thanks. Great. Dr. Hardy, what happened to the guard? What was behind the door? Why didn't she let me see? Find Janine. Once the cultist is our hostage, we'll be able to answer all your questions. Thank goodness there's music. Completely bare, the boxes are all empty. What about this box? Oh. Well, I tried. Save? Oh. What's that? Oh. Wait, what? What? Oh. Oh, that's just the- oh, okay. I hope there's no stairs in this game. I see elevators so far, so that's- Don't step on them, you jerk! One of the lenses is smashed and the other is curved out of shape. I'll take the intact one and discard the rest. Okay. What is that? Hello. Dr. Hardy? Have you getting the weapons off Janine yet? You must hurry. Okay. Appears to be locked. Oh, wait! Huge steel door, strong enough to be a blast door. There's a sign on it reading Central Hub, authorized personnel only. Oh, there's a slot for thingies. Excuse me, I, I said look at the slot. It's a control panel, consisting of a keycard slot and a single button. Alright, we can't go in there. I'm gonna look through the rest of that hallway though. Bed, the, the security, I guess. I'll add it to my journal. Canning, ensure the prisoners remain sealed in the holding cell for at least six days. After that, it will no longer matter. Do not fail, Canning. This is your chance to redeem yourself for the crime of lying, the Arzchkowski woman to explore the complex unsupervised. I have literally no idea how to open it. Okay. Time to hunt some pixels. Don't. We mustn't confront him until we have the upper hand. Get me the guns from me, okay. Now we're in new things. Touch screen. Oh, quaint. Screen seems locked out. I can't access any functions. Screen has no controls. The fuse box. Better not mess with electri electrics without a good reason. It could be dangerous. You don't want the barrel? Come on, dude. Barrels are great. They're barrels of fun. I want to open the security lock. Ah, oh, you people and your security locks. Where'd that music go? I was, I was enjoying the game not being completely dead silent. I don't know. 
open. It must be a security lock. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, it's like a round room. Wait. But then where'd that woman go? But I went in all the doors. Didn't I? Ah, there we go. Oh, hello. Sorry, I thought you were... Who are you? Are you Janine? You're not one of the cultists? No. One of them apparently dropped me down an elevator shaft. Dr. Hardy told me to find you. So you've met Sam already. We're being held captive, her and me, for the last week or so. We're only able to get out of the cell this morning. She mentioned that. Said you found some weapons? Oh, sure. Here. Came from outside? Is sending someone to help us? I wouldn't know. They must have gotten my message. They have to take these guns to Dr. Hardy. Maybe we can get out of here. Where did you get guns? Please, just... Don't make me go out there. I can't face seeing... Him again. Who? The cultist? No. Anyway, you better get going. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. Wait, no, I gotta inspect this room for stuffs. Is it over? Are we free to leave? Not yet. Oh, go, go, there's a cabinet. There's clearly an item in the cabinet. Whatever. Have a gun. Now we certainly have the upper hand. The cultist is just through this door. All we have to do is secure him in the holding cell and we can negotiate our release. Will Janine be joining us? No. She said she was too afraid. Afraid? Odd. Anyway, we'll both take a gun. Even a man with two limbs out of commission can fire a gun. Unless they're both arms. Unless you got really good foot control. No sudden movements. Hardy! Is this how your employment ends? With betrayal? Employment? Shut up! If there's any betrayal here, it was when you lunatics locked me up. You had no choice, Hardy. You refused to listen to reason. I said shut up. I'm taking you to the cell. I'm, I'm clearly not holding the gun that I was supposed to be. Oh, shit. Point your gun at me, I will fire. Damn you. Damn it, other Trilby? Why, why are there, what? He sure, his face sure got fixed fast. The hell is going on? Take him to the holding cell. I will, uh oh. Who? I am the caretaker. I am the guide. They are only unconscious, and they will awaken soon. Go to the sleeping quarters and seal yourself in. It's not wise to roam this place at night. But who are you? A friend. Now go. He looks like that dude that saved Trilby. Sam. I'm sorry, Janine. They overpowered us. Oh, God. I can't take much more of this. When are they going to send help? It seems they did. Hardy. I don't remember. I don't particularly remember another Hardy. I'm a, a council planning inspector. Someone tipped up us that the Optim and the cult were building something. It sent me to see if that was true. You see, Janine, your call was answered. You sent the tip? A council planning inspector? It's almost laughable. No, there's no way we're getting out of here. Yes, there is. We're gonna overpower Canning and make him escort us out. Excuse me. We tried that and it didn't work. We just have to keep trying. <laughs> Will you please listen? I beg your pardon? I fell down an elevator shaft this morning. 
I'm tired and pain. I don't know where I am. We've all got problems, bro. And all you've done is boss me around and evade my questions. I want you to tell who you people are and what the hell is going on. I apologize, Mr. Cobb. There's no need to shout. Perhaps there's a time to fill you in now. Sorry. Where will we start? Yeah, well, what, what were they expecting when they're like, Oh yeah, they're building something secret. Not like, hey guys, like send all of the SWAT teams. We are being held prisoner. Like what? <laughs> what did you expect? Like, oh, that was Philip, the the jacket guy. Isn't the Cobb? Some there was another the Cobb too, wasn't there? Anyway, my drink is warm, so I'll be right back. All right, who's the man in the hat? He's just some mercenary who was hired to act as a security guard. I mean, the guy dressed as Trilby? Who? You know, Trilby. The dashing gentleman thief. From those old horror movie serials. A Defoe Manor. <laughs> Hotel horrors. Huh. You join MI7, and all you're remembered as is a freaking horror movie protagonist. How embarrassing. red man <laughs> it was just me falling down the elevator shaft why are we being held here most likely to protect the secret but if that was all why haven't they just killed all of us maybe they need us for something I don't like the sound of that I think only the cultists can answer your question fully Who's canning? Is he the leader of the cult? God, no. For the others excavated, he answered to a guy named Garriott. Even he seemed subordinate to someone they called the Prince. I don't think I've ever seen him. Canning is just some low local acolyte in order to make sure we don't escape. Personally, I think he's just as much a prisoner down here as we are. I think I wanted to get rid of him for some reason. But it's too dense to notice. Still following orders like a faith-blinded sheep. Who are you? I'm Dr. Samantha Hardy. I'm a scientist. I tell you what kind, but I fear it would go over your head. Rude. Name's Janine... some words. I'm a freelance journalist for a couple of magazines. Mainly celebrity gossip stuff. Why are you here? How'd you get here? I was looking around the ophthalmology headquarters. Wanted to do a feature on them for a magazine, since so many celebrities have joined them. Oops. Then of course they threw me in the holding cell. Sam was already there. I've been doing a little contract work for the Order here in the labs. Turns out they really don't want anyone to know the secrets of the stuff they've been doing here. What kind of stuff? I prefer not to say. She won't tell me either. So you don't want to betray client confidentiality? They threw you in a cell. That's not it. Just that it's not work I'm... I'm proud of, which will probably reflect poor me on Leon when me once this is all over. Like murder things? I'd rather take steps to ensure it doesn't get out now rather than regret it later. Please don't press the matter. Hmm.
the hub. Very creative ways in, in the ways they inflict pain on each other. Hooray. Burst up some kind of demon god called Chuzo or something. Never even heard of them. Heard of ophthalmology, but with all the celebrities that are members. Ophthalmology is just the money maker. Funds the true organization, the order. They hide behind the acceptable front to keep themselves secret. Saying you want to hurt people to purify them causes a lot of concern for the authorities. So where are all the cultists now? We don't know. They used to be all over the place. Sort of drifting away soon after the, they finished the construction of the facility. Kenny and the Hat Man are the only ones left as far as we know. It's like they intend to ban place with us inside. They haven't already. But why doesn't she mention- she didn't mention the prince. She's seen the prince. Now I think of a way to- oh. What? The door's been sealed with a time lock. We won't be able to open until tomorrow morning. Well that's convenient. Who could have done that? Canning? I doubt it. Man in red told us not to roam the hallway at night. Presumably has taken steps to ensure this. For crying out loud. I have to get home. I have to get back at work tomorrow. We are all inconvenienced, Dakab. But whining like a child is not gonna help. What a freaking jerk! We're, we're like all gonna die here. It's like, yeah, don't be a baby. We're just gonna die. It's fine. We should take the opportunity to rest. We'll discuss our escape in the morning. Day two. Apparently already one-sixth of the way through. All right, I, there's gotta be something in the locker. That's just the law. Oh. Almost like something's holding it shut from the inside. Hello? Who are you? What? I'm not gonna hurt you. Holy crap, he has the hair of the thing! Of the 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 the, 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 the welder. Oh my god, your eyes. What happened to your eyes? Yep. Oh. Yep, he's the butch up. Oh. Or the welder, I guess. Ah, good, you're up. We can discuss the plan. Plan? The door has now been unlocked. Next move will be to take Canning hostage. Again? If at first you don't succeed, this door is being guarded by the Trilby Guard. The, 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 the guy who just is totally fine after his face being smashed in. Okay. The threat of physical violence must be made to get Canning under control. You obviously cannot make this threat, so it has to be me. All you have to do is lure the guard away from the corridor, giving me the chance to slip in. How do you know when the coast is clear? Do you have a cell phone? Of course. Take my number. You can't reach the outside world, but we should be able to make calls from within the complex. How? <laughs> That's not really how cell phones usually work. <laughs> They're not really peer-to-peer. -peer. Anyway, I'm sure you'll have questions for both of us. Click on phone. They're walkie-talkie phones, apparently. Click on phone in the top menu, or right-click the phone in your inventory to call someone for your list of contacts. Okay. In, in the future... They, they've planned for signal unavailability on local area networks, apparently. Sure. I'm 
kept my journal. Twice did the twenty-eighth day of the seventh month pass, and the prince gazed with great concern upon the land of technology, as the craving of the slave passed through the hands of the great many ignorant men of technology. But the king would not let them, him take his vengeance, for he said, "The gut, excuse me. The guide seeks the carving of the slave." and is through his desire he shall fulfill his destiny. It will not be long before the guide learns that his duty has not yet been completed. Then he shall do as I have foreseen. And as the king said it, was it so? For the bridge keeper did touch one of the ignorant men, and by their conjoined hands was the thief wife thrown down. And truly, she did know the name of the king. Who's the thief wife? Thief wife. Hmm. I can only think of somebody that would have been at Defoe's, so I guess Simone? And with this act, the guide said, I see you now, bridge keeper. I have found you, and I have not forgotten. And he came to the tree that was the prince's soul, for we see that the carving of the slave had been brought. Yeah, Simone's death didn't really seem to have a point other than just being like, hey, John Defoe is back. Why is there an eye on the locker now? It's got a weird locking mechanism on it that I've never seen before. Oh, I guess this. I guess uh, O'Malley did try to take things, but did O'Malley didn't even die, did they? A more. Uh, no. Let me guess. Chis no. Not Chizo. Hmm. Well, I don't know what it is. Let me go in here. Yeah, Chizo was my first thought too, but nope. This music really reminds me of Quest for Glory music. This is to explain why the tall man didn't show up in five days. Oh. Have you played Faith yet? What do you mean? What? What's Faith? Yeah, I, it did like, I assume the, the prince wasn't even, like, planned to exist yet. Or, like... It kind of feels like number one wasn't really meant to be a series, really. Because it doesn't really have the lacing of things. But with Trilby's notes, you can tell they were going for something extra big. Anyway, what's up, Janine? That's all I... What do you make of Dr. Hardy? Probably don't know much more than you do. She was already in the cell when they threw me in here. And yes, I've asked her many times what kind of work she was doing for the cult. No, she won't tell me either. If you want to find out more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. You think it's alright to trust her? She's got no more love for the cult than us. She's secretly still working for them. She's the most convincing actress in the world. Short little pixely indie horror game. I could check it out. Uh, is it on Itch.io? Uh, Faith Itch.io edition by... Who is this by? By Airdorf? It's got some very large pixels. Weird my oh. I was like, my mouse is moving different, and then I noticed I pressed I had pressed the DPI button to slow it down a bit on accident, so. The Faith is a pixel horror game inspired by the era of MS and DOS. That's an interesting era for a horror thing. 
I'll, I'll try that out. Um, so you were the one who sent the tip, huh? Yeah. A week ago when I found this place, I sent the tip straight to the police. Minutes later, they caught me and threw me in the cell. Oh, so she wasn't caught yet. I was expecting them to send a SWAT team or something. Then request a SWAT team. No offense. Real life doesn't work like that. You can't just send the guns in because some anonymous person says it's unrighteous. It's straight basement ascension. extension. Sending in a building experience was pretty much all that could have been done legally. I guess you... You can blame me for getting you involved in this mess, huh? I'm really sorry. You weren't the one who pushed me down an elevator shaft. <laughs> Tell me about Trilby. Well, he was the main character of a bunch of horror movie serials that were based on a series of novels from the early 21st century. Someone sent me some rare old newspapers and they suggest Trilby was a real person. It's really hard to forget who was a real person at this point. He was a cat burglar, the original master thief. The story goes that he joined some secret government agency. He encouraged the novelist to fictionalize tri Trilby so people would eventually forget it was ever real. Oh, it was MI7! I'll tell you something else. There's a photograph in the newspaper. That guy out there, Canning's guard, looks exactly like the real Trilby. Think he could be the same guy? Of course not. He'd be over 200 years old by now. The semblance is really creepy. Clones. Maybe. You help us take Canning hostage? I'm sorry, I can't. I don't think I could face him. I can't even bear being in the same room. Why? I don't know. It's like the fear comes out of nowhere. Like a punch in the stomach. What are you so afraid of, Janine? Aside from the cult that's trying to murder us? Him! The one who's out there. I don't want to talk about it. What do I think we should do now? I'm not sure. Maybe you should ask Sam. It's such a horrible nightmare. You better get used to it. Something about this place. Something in the air, maybe. I haven't slept well since day one. There was this little kid. A welding mask. Welding mask. I had dreams about those, too. How can we both be dreaming about welding masks? Psychic powers? Be serious. My granny used to say that I was a little bit sensitive. Sure. It's just paint. At least I hope so. Four triangles forming a star. In a circle. So this in Canning's office. Could it be a symbol of the order? Take the cushion. Not sure if I should be praying to someone yet. Get the note. Add it to my journal. Book of prayers, two one or two seven. The body is the physical form. It is the sum of what has made, what has made it to be, and so it is of the past. The mind is sharp and logical. So it concerns itself with the here and now. So it is the present. Oh. So that's, that's what they're going for. Because the, the, the past was five days where the body died and so on. Yeah. Soul is love and hope. It is the dreams of what is to come and so does the future. Body, mind, soul. Past, present, future. We give thanks for them all in the name of the king. I want everything to cook.
I mean, things are already pretty fucky, honestly. Body, mind, soul. Yeah, whatever. I probably just read it wrong. Trilby! How you doing, buddy? I don't think he's in the mood to chat. Got you. Get in. Oh. Oops. Apparently blind blindly wandering around wasn't the best idea. Hello, spooky man. Destiny calls. What the hell? There's a crispy critter. Oh god, it's some kind of ancient skeleton. Dressed in the remnants of an anorak. It's a huge hole in the back of its skull, too. Wasn't there somebody dressed in an anorak in one of the things? Is that Linkman? Yeah, it was. That might be Linkman. Some kind of manifestation hovering above the ground. So strange, my eyes like a black hole in the air itself. What's up, Linkman? Oh, hey. Desk. Oh, the drawers are empty, like they've been empty in a hurry. Nothing but ashes. Ooh, burnt paper. Yep, time's getting fucky already. I'll add it to my journal. Acolyte Garriott to Acolyte Devron. De, De Raven. Our preparations are complete. Feel free to evacuate yourself and your staff when you've finished burning your records, but make sure Canny and the prisoners remain. Our master will also remain and make his arrangements. Although I evacuate last when I have made the, given the building and complex and final inspect. When it ends mid word like that, so you know it would end quickly. If you get a chance, check the hallway. full of medical supplies I have no absolutely no idea how to use. Look at the hallway. I see tennis rackets on the on the ceiling. I'm not sure what you mean otherwise. I get that it's like a circly kind of thing. Oh shit. To be doing. I'm supposed to be getting the Trilby Guard away from Gang's door, roughly out of the main corridor altogether. There's a flash the next time it was in the medical storage room. If you can teleport people, it will. Why does it not teleport us out of the te complex altogether? What you say is true, it raises many unsettling questions. Maybe this man has his own agenda, and it may not be the benevolent one. But he set me free. This man in red is kind of fucky, too. Yeah, sorry if I skip some things. There's a lot of dialogue in this one. So. Out of the hallway altogether, huh? Oh. Open the door. Yeah. No. Oh. Yes. I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky. Oh. He's not even gonna bother to follow me, huh? Yes, that was not it. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. 
pieces, like my... Um... That's not, I didn't mean to go that far. No, no, no. Open the door. I like how he just gives up. He's like, oh, eh, he went in the door. Who knows? Who knows what could have happened? He's definitely not in this room, though. Weird how you come out the other, like, you in from the left and then you come back from the left. Uh, see if there's anything obvious we can do with this. What, what, what is this thing? Post it note. In search for opening locker, you only have to ask. Good night, Mr. Rosen. Thanks for watching. Glad you could join some of these earlier ones, early streams. Well, that didn't work. Oh! It did work. Okay. Clothes! Can't fathom the use for the key card. I can fathom the use for that. What is it, though? A magnetic swipe card with the word hub printed on it. Oh, hell yeah! Let's get in that hub. Excuse me. There you go. Yeah, get in the hub thing. I, I figured this would be like the last thing we get into. Well, let's get in the hub. The code was just open. What is this? So stiff with rust, it'll take two ends to turn it. It's not gonna happen while I'm in plaster. Oh, come on. There was no point to that at all then? Equifax designed this place. Wait, what? Wait, he's at more. He's at multiple doors. What is this nonsense? There's another thing in my key cord card is used up. I don't think this helps me with the guard though. Can I just like Yes, he's in two different places. That is hacks. That is hacks. Um uh, can I call oh 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 hello Wait. What the hell is that? Oh. Rest in peace again, Trilby. The hotel. Oh god. Let me out. 
Well, Trilby's Trilby's away from the door. Hey, Samantha, he's away from the door. Yeah. <laughs> I got the guard away from the door. That's one way to put it. You're sure? Excellent. Meet me at the office door. Alright, so you had to go into a specific door, apparently. Okay. Whoa, father! What the hell was that? Why, father? What does that say? 287. It's all spoopy. Alright, I just gotta go take 18 years to get over to this thing. Hello. Do you not see the crazy? Is it just me? Hello, friend. Why would you walk to the other side of her? Let's do this then. Dr. Hardy? Yes? The guard's dead. He's dead because of me. You, you killed him? I fed, I led him to a monster. I tore him to shreds. It couldn't have been helped. The man died because of my actions. Actually, I think he died before, so... <laughs> you must not agonize over every little thing. No, of course not. We're wasting time. Come on. Look, you just watched a guy get, you know, torn apart by a, a spooky, inhuman thing. It's not a big deal. Just don't worry about it. Your pet guard won't be able to help you this time, Canning. My pet? He was yours as much as mine, wouldn't you? Shut up. Has she told you about the work she was doing for us, sir? Uh, I said shut up. Get moving. No funny business so you get a bullet in the leg to help you along. Go on, in. And I don't know if we can trust Samantha here. Okay, Canning, if you're completely at our mercy and you're gonna tell us exactly what we wanna know, understand? She's efficient, though. I can respect that. First and foremost, what do we call, how do we call the elevator? If you don't, the only one in the main, call, the only one in the main corridor can only be called by a high-ranking acolyte. Looks like you have to get used to each other, my dear. There's gotta be another way up. Oh, there is. It's in the hub. But you'll never get past the security door. Locks to open the blast doors. We will. Because you're gonna tell us how. Well, this is laughable. You're trying so hard like to do it like in the action movies, aren't you? What are you gonna do, torture me? You really think I, an accolade of the orators of blessed agonies, would be scared of pain? I've done to myself far worse things than you can dream up. It's too much info. So now what? We have to open the hub security door. Let's figure it. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Okay. Feel free to question the prisoner. I'm sure you'd benefit from his knowledge. You don't trust her. She saved my life. And yet, you don't trust her. You wonder what it is she's hiding, do you not? Quiet. You understand so little. Whatever. Tell me things. Looks like you failed, old man. We're loose and you're locked up. I wouldn't cut your chickens if I were you. They're... Many more to take my place. Wasn't the text of the dudes who confiscated the Seven Days of Skeptic guy also read? I don't know if it's necessarily related, but... So what's the deal with this cult? This is how you learn about cults. You just ask them. The deal? The deal is that the Order of Blessed Agonies has existed for centuries. We believe in the true way to purification. Purification through suffering. We practice the blessed agonies of the mind, body, and soul to wash ourselves of sin. And one day... One day what? Nothing. You've got some big agenda, haven't you? That's what this is all about. Is it to take over... You're gonna take over the world? Like some Saturday morning cartoon villain? I said nothing. They're gonna bring the big eyeball thing. 
It's going to eat us all. Yeah, it probably is. Like, the... It does seem to be kind of related to clothing. So it might just be because they had red stuff. Why are we being held here? Oops. Who's the tall man in black? The one with the white mask? I see you've met the prince. You should consider yourself lucky. That thing is the prince? What the hell is he? I'm not inclined to spill in secrets of the order to an outsider. Even if I were, very few acolytes are privy to the secrets known by the prince. Even the highest ranking members know only slightly more than I. Do you know who the man in red is? Who? Completely bald man in a red robe. Kind of like one of your red robes, but all torn up. Is he one of your people? Red, I have no idea what you're talking about. The acolytes of Chizou take very good care of their robes. I hate to break it to you, but your guard's dead. I'm sorry. Really? Doesn't that bother you? Should it? Do you even understand the situation? Of course. I don't think you do, though. Why? If you did, you'd know that my guard's condition may not be as permanent as you believe. Well, that would explain why he died twice. Tell me about these blessed agonies. Why? Thinking of applying? Just tell me. I don't see why not. For an angel to be fully purified, three aspects of themselves must experience blessed agony. Agony of body, physical pain, beating, burning, and cutting. Agony of the mind, boredom, fear, and insanity. And the agony of the soul, which is more, much more refined. It's about destroying someone or something the subject loves utterly, relies upon emotionally. And you do, you do all this to yourself over and over again? The agony of the soul can only be experienced once. But apart from that, you are correct. This is insane. To you, maybe. Do you know the same peace as I? The same utter contentment that comes with the knowledge that you are of absolute purity. I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> Can't you see that your order has abandoned you? Is that a cobweb in the back, by the way? Like, what is that? This complex is completely evacuated. The building on the surface is, too. Rubbish. The facility was too expensive to simply abandon as soon as work was complete. My brethren will return. His mouth is like a weird round O. It bothers me. Why are we being held here? Surely that should be obvious. You were held here to protect the secret that this complex exists. Then why don't you just kill us? I would have done. I would have had if they received the order, but I did not. Then what do you want from us? My superiors now. In time, they will let me know too. What was Dr. Hardy work doing for you? Why don't you ask her? She won't tell me. And you think I would? Oh no, young man. This is something you'll have to see for yourself. I'd hate to spoil a surprise. I love surprises. I've got nothing more to say right now. Okie dokie. Well, it's all spoopy. Uh, just clothes. Um, hello. I think I saw the man you're so scared of. Well, yeah, pretty sure you have. What do you mean? I know you probably wonder what scares me about him. Like, probably the murdery part. But I'm telling you, he just fills me with panic. No, I don't wonder. I don't. Really? I swear. It's, um...
Have you seen Sam? She's just gonna investigate the hub entrance. All right. Arg. It's so w fun to walk at like a snail's pace. What's up, Sam? How we doing here? Is this place, oh. That's gonna be the new stairs, is me not walking quite far enough. Dr. Hardy? That's my job, Do, go ahead. Uh, at least tell me what kind of scientist you are. I told you, it'd probably go way over your head. Try me. Uh, okay, I'm a biochemist. I was recruited straight out of university at a medical research company. But I was let go after a couple of years, so you suck at your job, good to know. A difference of opinion. I believe a scientist had to be morally flexible in the name of progress. Yeah, I don't like you. The company ethics committee didn't agree. Please don't ask me to give any further details. Great. She's probably in the cult. Who do you think the man in red is? Honestly, I honestly have no idea. Uh, perhaps his interest only to technically temporarily coincide with ours. I saw some kind of monster. Calm down. What did you see? It was like a man, but so tall and thin, like a stick man. His face was just white, and he. There was blood everywhere. Pull yourself together, Mr. Cobb. But the monster. Whatever you think you saw. It's gone now. You're safe. I wish I could believe you. <laughs> Being shady runs in the Hardy family. Oh, she's a... Yeah, she is a Hardy, I guess. Wait. Janine is the Hardy? That that makes very much sense, then. Um, can we do anything here yet? Sam. Yeah, that's why I meant Sam Hardy. No, I didn't mean Janine, I meant Sam. What do I do with this thing? Is the locker press open? Enter the office. Wait, what? I think there's a room I'm missing. It's a massive spider of blood left owned up by the man who's torn up by the tall man. Did I miss a room? I, think I must have missed a room. Father! Wait, did I ever actually go in the room? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I'm stupid. Looks like I can't unless some kind of environmental control program. Uh, release level one. There are eight drawers. Release level two. Function's not available from this terminal. Great. Cycle ventilators, cycling. Resetting thermostat, okay. We got no use for a blank notepad. Are you sure? Got the, what, what did I just get, papers? It's, it's a thick stack of useless accounting reports. I'm not even sure why I picked it up. Well, obviously it's going to be important since you did pick it up. Paper looks interesting. We live in the universe of technology or the scientific realm where magic is very sparse. Our shadow is the universe of magic or, eth or ethereal realm where magic and magical creatures are abundant. In olden times, it was easier for entities to travel between the true realms. Hence the old stories of fantastic creatures. The druid Kabadath, circa 55 BC, created a bridging portal quite easily using a comparatively simple ritual. Since then, however, the background level of magic and scientific realm has faded. A ritual of much larger in scope is required to transport any entity from one realm into the other. The ritual calls for the creation and sacrifice of a bridge, a living creature with ties to both realms. 
usually an entity born in the scientific realm, but later having aspect imbued with magic. When all three of the bridge's aspects, mind, body, and soul, are annihilated in conjunction, echoes of weakness ripple throughout the membrane, throughout the realms, and a portal can be opened. Exactly how long the portal remains open depends on the puissance of the bridge. Um, so security locks are open, so that's cool. I sure do enjoy going at one mile per hour. Where did they get, like, the stuff to cast me anyway? Like, oh, I got a staple. Wait, what? Where did that stack of documents go? I have a staple now, though, so that's... So I got that going for me, which is nice. Change camera. Uh, camera one. Useless. Current input. Change camera. Camera two. It's uh, it's, it's the hallway. Hooray. What's review input? Okay. Oh man, this is fun. Let's just go straight to camera four. Desk. Hello, desk. It won't reply. Why, why is the desk? What does review input even do? Current input, review input. Download current input. What? What is this? Download current image. I downloaded the image on my cell phone. Oh right, eyeing the screen. I must be old footage. It shows Canning working his desk. Something written on the notepad on the corner of his desk, but I can't quite make it out. Enhance. Use the lens. That's it. I can make out the numbers on the notepad. Seven seven five nine. This is the passcode for the blast door. Well, that's convenient. They just happen to have a lens exactly in my. Oh wait, that's. Those were probably my glasses, weren't they? So I guess it would be exactly my pre my prescription. Dr. Hardy? Yes, Mr. Cobb, go ahead. Uh, I've got the thing. Let's go to a security door. Not wonderfully. So you can see there's two security candles. There must be Dr. One comes with the passcode after that. And this is the key card and passcode. I may be able to force myself to the right tools. Passcode. Blah, blah, blah. I have the passcode, dude. Use the keypad. Uh, crap. What was the thing again? Seven, seven, five, nine. Excellent work, Dr. DeCobb. Or Mr. DeCobb. Wouldn't have thought a bureaucrat would have such a head on his shoulders. Rude. I hope that was a compliment. Now, I think we need to tour it in both wheels simultaneously. Can you manage? It's no use! I see. Then we're going to need another set of hands. Beautiful hands. Leave it to me, I guess. Alright, let's call what's her butt. Uh, hey, dick butt. We need your hands. We need your beautiful, beautiful hands. I don't think I can. Oh, come on! You have to, Janine. You're the only one who can help. Let's get it open, then we can get out. I know, but what if I run to him? Look, there's no one else around. Kenning is in the cell. His, yard, his guard is dead. Dead? Aside from us three, nothing else is moving, I'm certain. Come on, this is our ticket out. Okay. I'll be there soon. Ready? Let's get the hell out of here. Three, two, one, go. I hope there's some music in this hub. I could really use it. Doesn't look like an elevator to me. I don't see anything. Wait here. I'll check it out. Do you trust her? Do you? Oh, did she give me any reason to? I know what you mean. Right now, she's just got best hope to get out of here. Even so. I'm not sure what she'd trust her to go in there alone. Hey, after you, man. Brave. Dr. Hardy? 
Oh! Well. <laughs> I guess the prince was in there. Aren't you gonna say something? I can't think of anything. I can. We're gonna die down here. Don't say that. We're not gonna die. If we get back into the hub, we'll die. I mean, did you not see the death? That was, yeah. He won't let me out. You have to stop him. What are you talking about? I see you. I see what you are. You're the one who did this to me. I came in here after you. I didn't do anything to you. Why won't you stop him? How many times do you have to kill him? Janine, you're not making any sense. You're mistaking me for someone else. Mr. DeCobb? Yes! I'm sorry, I... Okay, crazy. Leave me alone! Janine! I wouldn't go out there if I was you. Night has fallen. The prince is on patrol. What about Janine? She is in no danger. At least not from him. We remain here until war- Apparently only I am in danger. Tell me who you are. You with the cult? My identity is meaningless. I am just an avatar. I have no allegiances. If you're not with the cult, then help us get out of here. It'll go badly, badly for you if you don't. There's going to be some serious police action after this. I can, I promise you. I cannot do that. Why not? Because that is not how, that is not how it goes. Oh, give me strength. You seem very confident that you will escape from this place. Of course I am. Why? Because if I wasn't, I'd go insane. Won't resist? Screw you, whoever you are. He's not a good guy, is he? Oops. Oh, come on. Well. Maybe we can go die. What's happening? Not man. Janine? Can you hear me? Um, hello, me. Who the hell do you think you are? Oh God, stop this. Stop what? You're the one pretending to be me. What? what? Sleep. B -b 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 Day three. B -b -th I'm not the prince, right? Ugh, my head. I remember flying asleep. Gotta find out who's in the hub before anyone tries to go inside of it again. Well, I've got a staple. So I got that, that going for me. So that's nice. It's even more like this now. I can barely even see the thingies. Hey, Trilby. Ah, ah! Who are you? Could you tell me where I am? You're... You're that blood stain on the floor. I saw you die. Dead? Yes. I remember being dead. But I don't remember you. Oh. Let me introduce myself. Yeah, I just walk right through the blood. You... Your guts were torn out. Yeah, on that floor. Right, right there. Honestly? Huh. Perhaps it's best that I don't remember. Okay, that's a good, that's a positive attitude to have. This is impossible. Are you gonna answer my questions anytime soon? Nah. I'm probably gonna get you killed again though. That seems likely. Can I just... I don't think, I don't think you would want that. Yes, who are you? My name's Trilby. That much I know. Even that soul fact isn't sufficient though. 
get the feeling I've had, I have or have had other names in the past. She'll be the cat burglar. Cat burglar. Yes, that was one of my names. It couldn't possibly be Trilby. Nevertheless, I'm certain that Trilby is my name. But Trilby died hundreds of years ago. I already told you. I remember that I was dead. So your statement for <laughs> only further reinforces my claim. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. And yet, here we are. How'd you come back to life? It is the future. I don't know yet. Did you know that resurrection is completely impossible, right? I thought I knew it. Recent events are forcing me to reassess this, however. I like Trilby. All I know is that I was dead, now I'm alive again. Refusing to believe that will not answer my questions. You don't remember working for the Order? Order. The Order of Blessed Agonies? Agonies, I remember. I get a name. John Defoe. He's important in some way. In fact, I spent... I think I spent many years researching him. Never heard that name before. You don't remember working... Why you were working for the Order? I'm afraid not. So what do you remember? Not much. A few flashes now and then. Images and sounds. No dates or details attached. I remember John Defoe, as I said. From that name, a few other memories return. Standing on a hill, watching something burning in the distance. My hands covered in blood. And then, a place that was at two places at once. Lying on something hard, my stomach really hurts. And someone's talking to me. But it's mostly a fog until the moment I woke up here. Let's see, woke up here. Well, not right here. I felt myself gravitate to this spot. Like something important happened here. Yes, this is where you were killed. And <laughs> lying on something hard and drinking speedy cola. I suppose that would explain it. Maybe we should look around where you woke up. Where did you woke up? Wake up. What was your name again? Dakab. Theodore Dakab. You've been a great help, Mr. Dakab. Excuse me, won't you? So he's not bad anymore. I, I guess. Okay. Trilby's nice now. Oh, hey, that door's open now. Okay, so we need a key, or we need a code for camera five. Uh, this door is open. Wait, was there even a door there before? I don't think there was a door here before. And those are cloning tanks. It won't reply. Cylinder. A cylindrical tube, just about big enough for a human to stand in. It's no technology I recognize. It's spotless. It looks like it's been completely scrubbed clean. It's part of a complex intranet. Most of the hard drive is scrubbed. Only one file left. <laughs> That's not how that works! That's not how any of this works. I'll add it to my journal. The Clarbon Hotel incident it took the soul of the bridge keeper from us and delayed the coming of the king for hundreds of years. But at the same time, it brought the prince to us with the solution already in hand. The prophecy in the books of Chizo demands that the guide assist the creation of the bridge. Obviously, he could not do that if he was long since dead of old age. But the sample of his blood provided by the prince was enough to ensure that the guide could exist for more than long enough to fulfill his destiny. I love how they left the single most incriminating file on, on their computer. Very good delete job. Can't see any possible use for any of the stuff in here. See vials of blood and plasma in there. Some lumps of tissue and petri dishes. Ugh. Hi, Trilby. There's someone in there with skin as white as alabaster. Can't make out any features. I don't think they have any. Hey, Trilby! Oh, hello, camera. I'm just going to get this book. 
They're really these cultists really. Well, the, the, I don't know if they're, you could say they're bad with technology, considering the cloning thing. Well, I guess that's probably what Samantha did. Hi, Lyra. Yeah, this is kind of the end of a series, so it's normal to be confused. Uh, I did stream the other parts of the series, but yeah, I don't even know where I'd begin to explain, honestly. Uh, at this time, another came the came to the tree. At this time, another came to the tree that was the prince's soul, and this other was of the faith, but blinded by pride, and so he was the prideful acolyte. The prideful acolyte threw down the guide, subjecting the guide to the blessed agony of the body. He called forth the prince, and the prince crossed over to the land of technology. The prince was displeased, for the prideful acolyte would, in his arrogance, interfere with the destiny of the guide, and so he threw down the prideful acolyte. The prideful acolyte became the puppet, and knew the name of the king. And then we left the puppet over in a corner in there. Hey, Shasta Dog as well. As you can tell from what I just read, yeah, you're, there's, yeah, that was Linkman. That was definitely Linkman. And with great fear did the guide take up the soul of the bridge keeper, immune to its influence, for the bridge keeper was also greatly fearful. And he hid the soul of the bridge keeper, lo keeper away to a place where it meet its final destiny. And the prince and the puppet took their message to the Order of Blessed Agonies. What is this? Oh, hat. Let me take your hat. I like how they keep hats. <laughs> it wouldn't suit me. They keep spare hats just for the clones. Something awfully familiar about it. Put a staple in it. What's up, Trillman? Yes? What is this place? No idea. This is where I woke up. Never seen this technology like this. He's too tall to fit in that cylinder. What year is it? It's... It's that year. I can't remember what year it was the last time I checked. But I'm pretty sure I lost a century or two somewhere along the way. Uh, anything coming back? Nothing from this room. But I think, the more I think about the name John Defoe, something scrabbling at the back of my mind. I feel like I'm on the verge of rediscovering something terrible. So that almost destroyed me. Can you help me open a door? Not right now. Oops, how long will that take? How should I know? Wait, what did he say? I wish to remain here until I remember something. Well, listen, this complex is dangerous. I think there's something haunting us. It's already killed someone. Need to find a way out of here. It also killed you like two or three times. All the answers I seek are here. I just have to find them. You could be killed. Death didn't stop me last time, apparently. If what you say is true, you're the one who should be worrying. It's got a point. Well, I gotta go. See you, loser. Why are they lettered? What, what purpose could that possibly serve? What room is asshole face in? Uh, canning. Is, I, I can't tell what the symbols are supposed to mean. No, not that one. I think it was more over this way. Um, is this the prison? Oh no, it's the one with the, yeah. There we go. It would be easier to, if the hall was not Satan. What's up, Canning? Back again. Your guard seems to be alive again. So, you think he rose from the grave? I don't know what to think. There was a, there was a cloning tubes! You saw the tubes! You, you, oh. He doesn't remember working for you. Of course not. He never does. We're not trapped in here, I would have been able to give him his usual instructions. How many times have you had to do that? Your questions bore me. Come back if you ever figure anything out. Who was John Defoe? 
Now we're getting somewhere. John Defoe is the bridge keeper. It's through him that the king will enter our world. Where is he? He is all around us. Then again, he's also drifting off somewhere in deep space. Give me a straight answer for God's sake. There is no straight answer to your question. Why do you ask it anyway? Trilby told me the name. Just about the only thing he remembers. Mere words were not fully restore of lost memory. A picture does a better job. What picture? I'll tell you what. If you can figure out by yourself what work Dr. Hardy was doing for us, I'll help you. Uh, obviously the cloning. Do you tell. She was a cloner. You, you were creating multiple copies of Trilby. It was just a different clone. Congratulations! Now the more complex question. Why? What would we need clones a particular individual for? Yeah, that is actually the straight answer. Yes, he is actually I, in space. You don't know anything about the Defoe Manor incident? The Clairbone Hotel incident? No. Huh. Forget it then. Right, you wanted to know what could jog his memory. Here's my advice. A newborn often reacts positively to an image of its mother. That's all you can give me? That's all I intend to give you. I'm not your personal advisor, boy. Uh, we could download images from that one thing. And we could review things, so maybe we could show him Sam? Uh, from the thing? Let's try that. Is this the security, the camera room? Yeah, I think it is. I have camera footage of her though. Review input. Shit. Uh. What the hell? It says here Samantha's phone is still switched on. I'm most certainly turned off before laying her out. Who should I call? Samantha? Two. Sip. Four. One. What? I can't. I hung up. Wait, let me try that. What was that again? Code. Two. Seven. Four. Two. Seven. Four. One. Let me try this. Two, seven, four, one. Heck yeah! What is this? It's a kind of wide circular chamber that must be must from above. Must be the hub. Sorry, and from the look of it, there's nothing in the there's nothing in it, but the remains of some ruined building. Uh, review in current input. Review input. Wait, what? Change camera to five. Oh, come on. Two, seven, four, one. Why does review input not work? Well, maybe that works as the image of his mom. Because, I don't know. Yeah, that door is definitely not there before. Here, Trilby. Have, have phone. What? No. Do I talk to him? Uh, do you remember Dr. Hardy? Hardy. Hardy. That does ring a faint bell. If I had more details. Dr. Samantha Hardy? The scientist? No. Do you have a picture of her? Okay, that's... Crap. Uh... Dr. Janine, what? Do you notice any changes in the main corridor? No, I don't. 
Honestly, yes. You can see it transforming, coming to some kind of dungeon, brick walls, blood everywhere, dirt floors. What are you talking about? Isn't it always like that? What? It's it's always it's she Yeah, I know he's referring to Philip, but she always sees that? Maybe that's why she sees me as the prince or something. Okay. Um let's see what's inside the hub. You have? Can you show me? I've got the image on my phone. I'm sending it to you now. There's nothing to be afraid of, see? It's just some old ruin. Whatever killed Dr. Hardy's long gone now. Yes, I see. It's funny, but when I see this, I don't feel so afraid. I'm seeing a place where I can find peace at last. What? Will you help me get there? Uh, sure, but you have to come out of the sleeping quarters. Fine. I'll wait outside the hub. We have to get in there. They're creeping me the hell out. Oh, right, she's been down there for longer. Hang up. Uh, what now? We gotta get this door open quickly. Are you alright? Yes, no. No, I'm not alright. Sam is dead. Sam is dead. I think I'm gonna. I remember Sam dying. But then everything goes blank. I'm scared. Okay. I guess we're just gonna ignore Trilby for a while. He'll be fine. You got any pictures? I, and she's like. Oh. Right. Yeah, that's her blood. That's Samantha's blood. By the time she was dead, she lost virtually all of it. Hooray. What? Something happened to you last night. You were there? What did I do? You were acting odd, like you were someone else. You were talking to me like I was someone else. Oh god, I remember. I remember talking to you. But it wasn't me! It was like looking through the eye holes of a mask. And I knew the thing I saw was... It makes me feel so sick. What now? I have to get this door open, quickly! Uh... I, 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 I don't have hands. But, but, journal, but. Uh, maybe if we show him the body? I don't know. Samantha was in the medical thing. Maybe she's got pictures of herself in her wallet or something. Like a driver's license. I think the ID card she wore in her lab coat bore her picture. I can just retrieve it. Damn it. It's not here. Where did it go? Uh, did you take the thing? Oh, not, not you. Nice of them to repeat the code, though. Hey. Do you have Dr. Hardy's ID card? I just wanted to remember in some way. Don't judge me! I'm not judging you. Can I borrow it? Uh, sure. Can't exactly give you to the airwaves. Do you want to meet up? Yeah, sure. You can just take a picture of it. I mean, so we, we even have picture phones. Like, oh, whatever. Adventure games. If this game doesn't start having music soon, I'm going to go insane. I'm sorry. I should have found some save. Alright. This does not seem to have been remotely as dangerous as the, the, the second game. You definitely have to save like all of the goddamn time. But in the rest of these, it hasn't been a big deal. Uh, do you have to turn his key card? We already had that conversation. All right, buddy. Here's your mom. Have mom picture.
Have a look at this picture. Who is this? Samantha Hardy? Do you know her? Hardy. Maybe. Something about her face. Can I meet her? She's dead. Hardy dead. I... Oh, Jesus. It wasn't me. I used my hands, but it wasn't me. What? I'm so sorry, Philip. You didn't... You didn't deserve... He kind of did, though. Why are you doing this to us? Calm down. You're freaking out. I apologize. Some memories returned with a suddenness that caught me off guard. I think answers why I'm in this facility, however. Listen, I need your help. There's a door that needs two people to open it. I think that behind it, we can both find the answers we seek. Seems like a good place to start as any. Please lead the way. I'm back, Janine. Good, let's, uh... Ah! Oh, come on. Stay away from me! <laughs> Just runs like, three inches away. That's, that's far enough, though. What on earth's the matter? It's him! Oh, God. She's afraid of Trilby, not the prince? Of course! Who else would it be, for God's sake? Probably the evil murderer guy. Madam, I don't even know who you are. Why are you so afraid of him? What do you think he'll do to you? I don't know. I don't know why I'm so scared. But I just look at him and feel like I'm gonna faint. Janine, listen to me. He's not with the Order anymore. He's lost his memories. He won't hurt us. I promise. We need him if we're gonna open this door. And once it's open, we'll be able to get into the hub. Yes. The hub. Okay. Let's get those wheels turned. You're creeping me out with this hub crap. Could you stand between me and him? Sure. This seems like a good idea. The last time we opened it, somebody got slashed in the throat, so... This seems like there's gonna be good stuff in there. Oh, for Pete's sake, the fuse. Please, I have to get in there. Okay, okay, I'll take care of it. Calm down. Oh, thank God. There's music. Whew. Sweet bliss. Alright, where was... The electrical box. Let me guess, the paper clip is a fuse. That, that seems insanely dangerous. Well, I mean, maybe it's not the thing we do, but... I don't know about much about electrics, but one of the fuses definitely looks out. Looks burnt out to me. Does it only play once and never loop? Maybe. I don't know. It, it, there is extremely sparse music. But yeah, like I said, this reminds me a ton of the, the midis in, um... Oh, shit. Why did you do it without me? She went on ahead. I tried to stop her, but she just ignored me. Come on. We're definitely not gonna die. Oh, shit. What's this? Who are you? We are doormen. Our task is to stand here, always. Did a woman pass through here? Yes. Why didn't you stop her? Our task is only to stand here. <laughs> Not very good doormen, are you? Not to monitor who goes in or out. Okay. That's reasonable. Are these clones? What? Are these clones of me? Uh, yeah, I think so. Am I a clone? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I did consider it one of the likelier possibilities. Explains pretty much everything. Shall we continue? <laughs> He's, fi <laughs> He's fine with this. No, no existential crisis. He's like, yeah, seems reasonable. <laughs> Whatever. You don't know what to expect. I've seen what's in there on the security camera. It's just a bunch of ancient ruins. But I don't know. It's like Janine talked about completely irrational fear. 
Janine may be in danger. I know. I know! Okay, let's do this. Whoa! What? Hey, Janine! Um, we're back in the first game. Hey, Janine. D did somebody... Uh, did, does anybody see my glasses? They seem to be falling on and off my face constantly. I know this place. Y you sure do. This is where he lives. How do you know? Because this is where I destroyed him. Or I thought I destroyed him. Where I tied his spirit to his bones and set him to a blaze. But that was just a movie. No, it's... Look out! Oh, rip. What the hell was that? What's happening to the walls? Oh, hi. No. Not you. No! Wait, she sees Trilby as that guy? Hi. Janine, wait! Do you understand, Theodore de Cobb? No! No, I do not understand! I understand why I'm putting put through this nightmare. I don't understand the things I'm seeing. I don't understand why you can't just give me a simple straight answer. Straight answer is what you require, then I will accommodate you. Oh, okay. The house you saw is called the Faux Manor. However, it does not physically exist. It is a construct of Defoe's mind and manifestation. Okay, I just walked into a manifestation of his mind. Okay. When John Defoe died, his mind and body went into his house. Okay? When Trilby burnt it down 200 years ago, he assumed that both were destroyed. But the inflection of Defoe's mind clung to the ruins, to the very land on which it stood, even where his, while his body burned away. So that's where his mind is. The house. Okay. Measures to be taken, however, to ensure that the infection does not spread. What measures? We radiate with a cult statue. Why was Samantha employed to clone Trilby, of all people, multiple times? I haven't got a clue! Clues you have had plenty of, uh, think to come. Why Trilby? Because Trilby's important. Because Tr John Defoe is scared of him, I guess. Yeah, this is the last game. Uh, this is probably like at least an hour left though, because this is only like day three of six. Speaking of take, taking breaks, I actually do have to take just a real quick one here. Apropos of nothing, I really need to go shopping for some snacks. I'm all out of snacks. I can't be productive without my damn snacks. Anyway, John Defoe was scared of him. John Defoe was scared of the Trilby, back there in the manor. As soon as Trilby was removed, everything started to go berserk. Indeed, for a wraith, being crowned back inside your rotting bones is a traumatic and painful experience. Poor wraithy. Then, to be shot down in satellite, unable to die, to feel the constant agony of body and mind being reduced to ash. Until then, John Defoe only feared his father. Afterwards, Trilby was, in his mind, the embodiment of pain. And its mere presence acts as a ward against Defoe. Trilby was then on utterly immune to Defoe's corrosive influence, although he never realized it. Except it kind of seems like we were in, in Trilby's notes. Anyway, complex. Could the evil of Defoe's mind be restrained within the hub? But the tall, thin man with the lab coat, he's the head of the order, right? He is. Why does he keep killing the, the Trilbys? That I do not know. But I do know that the more of them that die, the further Defoe Manor bleeds into the surrounding complex. You may not have long. What will happen? Defoe is a creature of monstrous violence. Samantha's fate was only, I fear, only the beginning. Oh God. Is Janine all right? Perhaps you should find out. Oh, is she dead? Janine? She's so dead. No. No, not again. No. Janine? 
Open the door. Janine, please. Please open the door. Janine, for God's sake. Open the damn door! Oh. Everything turned out fine. I'm sorry, Theo. I know. I'm just so scared. It keeps happening. I warned you about stairs, bro. I don't even remember going into the hub. You blacked out. I was waiting for you outside the door. Then I was nothing. Next thing I knew, I was in that room in front of you. I'm scared of my mind because there's something. Something's trying to take me over. Look at me, okay? Nothing's gonna take you over. I'm not gonna let that happen. I can feel it all around me. It's Defoe, yeah. Watching. Whispering in my ear all the time. Janine. Just hold me. I figured she was scared of the prince, but I guess it's Defoe. Something tells me not to. I ignore it. Emotions! Something tells me I'm taking advantage. Oh my god. Dude, you're like torn into pieces. What are you doing, dude? Something tells me to stop when it starts to hurt. Oh man! Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Evil ravaging outside our door. It's we will comfort each other. Oh, come on, man. Ah. Oh. Not the time. Not the time. On this, by the 60 day, we'll be, both be dead. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> you could, like, die. <laughs> like, you, you are in pieces, dude. <laughs> wow. What the? What are you doing? No! Oh! Oh, just a dream. <laughs> I hope the completely awkward sex scene was also a dream. I'm just gonna... That's my headcanon. It was a two-part horror dream. Okay. Oh, I just realized we never got to put the paperclip in the microwave. That would have been fun. Rest in peace, uh, cultist dude, I assume. Maybe it was just another trilby, but... Um, I can't tell what thing is what now. Wait, no, one more over. Well, Defoe is spreading even more. What, is it dropping things? Seems okay to me. I might have dropped some frames, but... Seems okay right now. I don't remember what the thing is. I think I'm gonna have to stop the, uh, the ultra low latency. I think I might have to go back to normal low latency while they work on it. Uh, where... Where is the thing? Canning. <laughs> Rest in pieces, canning. I have literally no idea how to open it. Well. It's canning's blood. I know it is somehow. It's splattered all over the cell. Well. Rip. He knew the blessed agony. Uh oh. Oh! Hello! Hi. Um. Maybe don't. Maybe don't do that. Maybe don't. Okay. Um. Perhaps time to save. Uh, why is there space? Why is the door space? Seems like a good thing to go into, right? Oh! 
go into this hole. It's kind of barrier block in the way, like a force field, but also like something else entirely. Oh, hi. Let's try this again. Oh no, it's more chase things like seven days is- Aw, how did they not- It hurts. The door hurts. What are you doing? Oh. Oh! Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> Janine, now is not the time for cosplay. Well. The... Well, it hurts, so that's nice. Still hurts. Well, guess we're not getting in there. <laughs> the, 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 the lack of music is, is baffling. Like, now we get some music. I do think you're actually right. I think it does. Oh, it just boops you back here when she catches you. Okay. Um, what was I trying to say? I do think you're right though. I think it just doesn't, um, I think it just does not loop the music. And so it just plays music once it's been triggered, but it does not continue playing it. You okay there, Trilbies? Oh, I see the- oh. Hi. Oh! Hell yeah, pickaxe! No, give me the pick- no, 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 please. Goombi, please! No, I want the pickaxe, get the pickaxe. When I touch it, it- pins and needles run out my arm. When I pick it up, it doesn't seem to have any weight at all. Can I just- just- I may need it. I can't pickaxe her because I might need it. Does this open yet? I may need it. Security lock requiring high maintenance. Okay, we can't pickaxe it. Can I pickaxe the teleport or the the the, the, the portal thing? Maybe. I mean, that's how you got in there the first way. I love that I may need it. It's it's incredibly inappropriate almost every time it appears, but that's just the that's just the um you can't use this item on that thing message. I'm in such bad shape to be doing this. Let's just pick this. Will seem to recognize the pickaxe. Okay. Uh -oh. G get in the hole. It's kind of barrier. Use the pickaxe, dude. What? She just left because I used the thing on it. What do you mean? Can I go? On now or what? What was that? It hurts. When I look at it, there's a feeling like the bottom dropping out of my mind. Gonna drop that booty. The hole seems to recognize the pickaxe. Why did she run? Maybe I need to do something with her. Your home. This is your home. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Janine. No. Rip. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Day five. Wait. 
2386? He's got that messy hair. Is this... This, of course, is a resident celebrity. The Mistopheles killer? Oh shit, it's the guy from the second game. Yep, you'll remember it was all over the news. Last year, the EFS Mistopheles was relaunched with a skeleton crew of six. <sighs> the appointed ship's counselor was one Dr. Jonathan Somerset. He reported to duty punctually and on schedule. Unfortunately, shortly after the launch, we discovered the real Dr. Somerset was dead. Pushed down a flight of stairs, presumably by the imposter who had taken his place. Off oh, world security was dispatched to intercept the Mistopheles. His last recorded communication was e SOS distress call with the EFS Charisma. By the time the off world security arrived, the man had slaughtered the entire crew. So, who is he? His name is Malcolm Somerset, the only son of. Jonathan Somerset. Student of psychology at Ganymede University, waiting to follow father in his father's footsteps. There's a lot of daddy issues in this game, but he failed the final exam and dropped out. Seemed becoming a shipboard counselor was his dream. When his father was called up, he couldn't hold in his jealousy. So, why did he kill the Mistopheles crew? The part why remains under psychiatric study. It's a complete mystery. This profile is completely inconsistent with the spree killer. The best theory we have is that it was found out and killed out of desperation. That doesn't explain the demented creativity, the sheer bloodthirsty relish with which his crewmates were slaughtered. There should be a lot of evidence that the other people participated. One man was impaled, another was blinded. The first officer had her head twisted right around. Many of the corpses were dismembered and stitched randomly together into Frankenstein-like monstrosities. Certainly not the actions of a man simply trying to cover up for a far less serious crime. Let's save him for the moment and move on. We can, and... He's got the hair! He's got the hair, too! The, the... Look at that, the hair? Um, well, kind of. Like, the, 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 the spiky hair when we found that weird kid in the, in that room in the beginning of this game. It's the same hair that's on the, uh, the welders thing. That's kind of what we have here. Hello. It's pretty much the only thing to look at in here. It's a hatch built for moving food and small items into the cell. Whoop! You! Okay. This guy. I was being thin, I need to think you're, you'd gone forever. This will be our last meeting. You'll let me out of here, right? You owe me at least that. What makes you think I owe you anything? You're the one who made me kill my father. I only encourage you to do what you already intended. Oh, he's an asshole. You promised me I wouldn't get caught. You wouldn't have been caught had the Mistopheles left that locker alone. You know the future. You knew about that? You knew about John Defoe? Was it all part of some plan? I did not scheme it. But I did know it would come to pass. All I did was encourage the events to take place as I had seen. You're an asshole. You know they think I did it. All that senseless murder? I've been locked up in here for six months. I don't care about you or any of your bullshit. Just let me out of here, and you'll never hear from me again, I swear. I very much doubt that. But rest assured, I am here to release you. Thank you. He's gonna kill me. What do I have to do? Just use the key and leave by the door. What? If you haven't noticed, but the lock is on the outside. Besides, the guards outside will... I'm not talking about that door. What are you talking about? What door? What key? Who are you? Maybe they got some blood lunch for me. I got tired of yelling at the guards pretty fast. Aw, oh, I got some blood lunch! Someone sent me a parcel with no return address. 
parcel. Now open the parcel. It contains some kind of oddly shaped knife. By the feel of it, it's old enough to be an antique. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, male weapons to, you know, psychiatric wards and, you know, extreme murderers. You can do that. It's just normal. Blade. Some kind of ancient knife with teeth at the end like a key. That's pretty much the one thing I can't look at. Look at my hands. Uh, use the key on the door. I don't think so. Do I have to use it on me? <laughs> it's, it's a key, but it's only... It looks like a key, but it's also a blade, so it's a key blade. Do you use it on self? No. Wall? That's suspicious. Wall. It's just part of the wall, but it feels different now. I look at it, my hands start to tremble. Use wall. No, no, out, no. No! Oh! There, oh, okay. There's just a door in, in my cell. Whoa. Okay. Bar we're back in Silent Hill, apparently. I guess maybe that was topical at the time. Is that was that supposed to be a Keyblade reference? Yeah, that that sounded like blood lunch noise when we used the, the the key. That does sound like the sort of noise that it would make when I expected like I expected to die like stab self. Oh, maybe I did stab. Wait, I told you stairs. I told you about stairs, dog. I warned you. I knew stairs. This is the one game where stairs had not been an issue. Here they are. It's freaking stairs. It was the whole time. The enemies were stairs. That's why the prince teleports, so he doesn't have to deal with stairs. What? I'm sorry, what? I just stab John Defoe. Okay. All of the pieces are falling together. Wait, but I'm- I'm red- am I red man? But I'm- my- I saved myself. What? <laughs> okay. I am now man in red. I am my own father. I time paradoxed myself. Okay. Whoa! I'm sorry, what? Oh, come on, let me look. I, I, I need my look command, come on. It's extremely deep pit. Opening up into the abyss of total blackness, I should probably save. Phone. <laughs> Use my phone. It definitely hurts. This is where I really need that look command. Um, use pit. It's a long way down, all right. Talk to the pit. Okay. Phone. Oh, I can't phone. Um, why are you spaceman? Where I come from. Blanking people is considered rude. Are you Trilby? Holy shit! Of course, Chizo will not let me die. Who are you? You ask a complex question. The name I which I knew myself is Trilby. But I strongly su suspect I'm not the original. Probably a clone, given over to Chizo as a plaything. Perhaps that is my arrogance talking. Perhaps I simply cannot bear the thought the real me could ever be imprisoned by it like this. Who's Chizo? More appropriate question might be what is Chizo? 
Or even where is Jizo, since it seemed like he is a place as well as a fiend. But to answer you, Jizo is a pain elemental. Once, there were once many of his kind in the universe of magic, small and largely harmless creatures that fed on the petty anguishes of others. But over time, they became more and more reliant on magic, until their actual physical bodies were all completely vestigial. They fought for more power by killing and absorbing each other. So was the very last of his kind bloated mountain of gristle whose very essence crackles with residual magic. And now nothing but the most hellish torments will save his hunger. He's the closest thing to a god of pain. You're the one who sent the idol into space! Possibly. I certainly have remembers memories of doing so. And you be must be the man who found him. How could you know that? After the hotel, Trilby spent many years researching Chizo. Requested a vision of the idol's future from the Ministry of Occultism. <laughs> he was. <laughs> they have that, apparently. Thanks, MI7. Whether I'm the original or not, I do possess memories of that vision. I saw you. I saw what Defoe did to you. I saw what you became. I realized I'd seen you before somewhere. Wait. But never mind. You want to redeem yourself, don't you? More than anything. All you have to do is follow my instructions. What? Wait. I didn't get the murders pinned on me. I actually did do it. I think. <laughs> Wait here! Of all the rude shit- Wait here! Don't leave me. Very old man in the remnants of his suit tied up with strands of muscle and skin. Skin like material as tough as leather. I can't hope to tear it. So I did I did do the killing and I just had brain problems and imagined it was the other ones is what I'm thinking here. Uh, what do you want me to do? I want you to kill me. Oh, that's what the knife's for. And don't pretend you're a stranger to killing. You have Freehorn's blade. It's infused with Chizo's magic. So I think I can release his hold on me. I want you to drive it in, in my heart. Make sure the blade will infuse you with energy. Okay. Call it my soul, my life force. We don't have a proper name for it. I want you to give it to the one who needs it. Who? You'll find him nearby. He isn't physically here, but Chizo is observing him, and so he manifests. My life force will still save him, wherever his actual body is. I don't know. He does say I'm no stranger to killing, too. And if I was really that guy, then the only person I killed was Defoe. Or... Somebody possessed by him, anyway. Kill you, but I want to bust you out of here. No. Even if you could, I have no place to go. To the pain elemental, time is nonlinear. It sees the past, present, and future all at once. Were I to leave this place, I could end up at any moment in time. Or every moment. Or no moment at all. It's the reason you and I aren't able to interact like this. Despite from my perspective, being in the 21st century, you were in the 24th. Now kill me. Both our destinies demand it. What is this place? I knew you'd ask that. <laughs> Reese, it's well, duh. No one ever knew what this place was could come here voluntarily. You're in the body of Jizo. How did I get here? Well, that's new, I was in an asylum. On Earth? In the universe of technology? Then I can't explain it. There's no possible way to get from there to here. Not corporeally, anyway. So I died, probably.
Can't I, like, stab Chizo with the thinger? Stab the pit. I don't think so. I stabbed the darkness. Well, sorry, Trilby. I said sorry, Trilby. None of it was your fault. Remember that. Another Trilby, but he looks so much younger and healthier. If it weren't for that stab wound, oh. that's the Trilby at the end of Trilby's notes. Hello. Oh shit. I give his life to this one, and that's what happened at the end with the notes. Well, shit. Bloop. There you go. You don't like that, do you? Oh, hello. So you felt that, did you? I think I should get out of here. Stab it in the eye! Stab it in the eye! Oh, come on, man. Oh! Um, hello. Well, so that's there. Whee! Yep, I'd say he's dead. Damn it. We're gonna catch hell for this, aren't we? Why do you have to cut his own throat out? And he just hung himself with the pajamas like most of them do? It's like he knew we'd have to clean up this mess. Person more worried about how he got hold of a knife. You and I both, if a freak really wants to kill himself, there's very much little we can do to stop him. You honestly say he doesn't deserve it? Got a little brother just joined the Navy Medical Corps. Same age as the poor doctor in the Mesopheles was. I can assure you right now that that's not how Dr. Lasso will see it. <laughs> Dr. Lasso. Come on then, let's fetch a body bag. They're so upset about this whole situation. Blackness swallows me. The furious roar of so fades from hearing. I am free. Free of that place. Free of physical form. The ebb and flow of time flutters against what passes from my body. Caressing me like a lover. When I was a man, I was Destiny's prisoner. Now, I will be her servant. There are men and women who must be guided. I will be their caretaker. But... But... Hmm. Day six? Of course, it's July 28th. You cannot have saved her, Dakab. There's still enough time to save yourself. What happened to her? Eurekin defenses allowed John DeVoe to crush her personality. In loving her, you tainted her. Tainted? What? Just as the past affects the future, so too does the future affect the past. What? Your future, Dakab, is a dark one indeed. So dark that the influence travels backwards through your lifetime. Okay. Leave an eternal blemish on your soul that worsens as your fate draws near. Shut up. Why can't you ever get a simple straight answer? Why don't you help me get out of here? We'll find the way out in the basement of Defoe Manor. What? If you wish to escape, go there. Expect me to go into that madhouse? What about John Defoe? Enough clones of Trilby remain to provide an escort. They will buy you the time you need to break through Defoe's defenses. You must combat the corrosive influence of, of his mind on equal footing. Know him. Become him. Defeat him. We shall not meet again. I wish you luck. Wait. Will you at least tell me who you are? Once I was a man. John Defoe destroyed all that I had. 
but a gift gave me the power to see the destiny of all mankind, while simultaneously enslaving me to it. You and I, Dacob, are pawns in a game too vast and complex to understand. But a pawn that crosses the board becomes a king. Or at the very least, a prince. It's not how chess works, though, but... <laughs> um, hmm. Did, did he just say that he is the prince, or... Um, uh... Why is that save menu so laggy? Why is my eye rearranged in my inventory? I'll add it to my journal. Freehorn's blade is one of the order's most sacred relics, said to have been used by the 18th century prophet Jack Freehorn himself to deliver the 12 sacrifices to enable him to write the books of Chizo. You know, the prince is... I mean, the prince was that one guy from way back then, but he also said he transcends, you know, time and stuff. Theo could not possibly be the prince for Kavalath. He did talk about moving across the board, though. A person dies, their body, mind, and soul separate and drift apart. An individual killed by Freehorn's blade, however, separates differently. They leave their body behind, while the mind and soul remain together. Rolts in a non corporeal spirit of unusual ability, capable of strong manifestations. But they remain forever under the command of the one who wielded the blade. So Theo died from Freehorn's blade, but does that mean he's caught by Freehorn or by himself? Because he was the one who wielded the blade in that case. They can exploit a loophole in his rules by killing themselves with Freehorn blade. Oh! That answers my question. Which would theoretically transform them into an immensely powerful spirit and magic-infused force of pure will. None, however, have yet chanced this. Considering their whole thing where they think death is super great, that seems really surprising, honestly. Why, why are my eyes rearranged? That, that concerns me greatly. My eyes used to be up there. That's the one thing that should never change place. Hmm. Well then. Guess we gotta go to the basement! We all know fun stuff is in the basement. Oh, there's some blood, so that's nice. Where did this come from? Let's find out! I just talked to the door. I like how he walks over to, to discover that he can't talk to the door. Oh. Yeah, it's just that guy. Not a big deal. All right, Trilby. Trilbies. Yeah, the manacles were invisible for a while. Um. Oh, they're not ready. Let's just go to the stupid manor, I guess. Hello, blood. They left the door open for me. Oh, nice. Hey, Trilblies. You three come with me into the hub? If that's what you order. We only do as we're told. How many of there are there? We don't know. When any of us fall, another comes to take our place. So if you die, can they come back here and there'll be more of you? Until there are no more. Personally, I'm in no hurry to die. Come on. Poor Trilbies. Oops, I just talked to the door again. I think it's a door, I can't think straight. Being this place is like having huge weights in my head. I was hoping you could do the door thing again. Kind of an inappropriate time to do the door all. Thanks, Prince! Oh, 
Well, there's just enough trilbies to last me here, I guess. Uh oh. But the hole. Some kind of barrier. Trilby? You wanna open this hole? Cell phone? Uh. Um. Trilby. Do something. Now's not the time for chit chat. I think I'm dead. It hurts. Did this right. Sorry, Trilby. Seems bad. Yeah, we gotta go somewhere else first. Should probably leave. Oh, wait, this is a thing! Oh. <laughs> I got some more Trilbies. It's fine. I'll add it to my journal. Lich. A kind of immortal, an undead sorcerer granted immortality by removing their soul from their body and placing it in an external object. A lich's body is indestructible. It can still be stretched, twisted, or made to feel pain, but only damage to the soul artifact will cause permanent damage. Wraith, a servant of a lich. Wasn't Defoe said to be a lich? Or a wraith? Wait, so... Oh, the prince is the lich because he got put into the tree. Are we dropping frames? It looks stable to me. Seems stable for... yeah, I have 6,600 drop frames. I have a lot more frames than I like this stream, but... Uh, Wraith, the Servant of the Lich, so... Yeah, Defoe is the Servant of the Prince, then. Dead life form whose soul is placed postmortem in a small part of the lich's soul artifact, making them subservient. Rights are non corporeal, like all ghosts, exerts influence over environments and objects tied to, to which they're tied. Should we know that the rights influence and manifestation become increasingly wild and uncontrolled as its soul is separated from its mind? So he's going crazy. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here. This is not the order the rooms were in, but I'll take it. I got space machete. It's a big stained machete. I can't even examine the things in the room. Double double the trilby for double the fun. Get get yeah, there we go. I need some more trilbies. Thanks. Thanks, Trilbies. I guess I stab the hole? Now? This, 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 I don't know. Doesn't seem to be able to do much else, so... These Trilbies sure are brave. Stab it. You got a problem? Stab it. The hole seems to recognize it. We figured out why the prince is killing the trilbies? Um. Not in particular. The hole seems to recognize it. I guess I'll check upstairs since this does not seem to be enough. I mean. Yeah, but the prince isn't the foe. Prince does love killing people, though, so... Those poor Trilby Pikmin. Trilby men. Let's see if there's anything upstairs. Oh no! Stairs! Why did there have to be stairs? Everyone knows that Trilby is weak to stairs. I'm assuming it's gonna be in here where the kid's body was. Ow, poor Trilby.
Let me guess, the mask is in, in his bedroom then. Sorry, Chelby. Boop. It'd be nice if there was like at least a few animations that cycled through. With poor Chelby getting killed. The stairs. The worst stairs. They worked for the first time though. For once. Alright, Trilbies. Yep, there's the monster mascus. So I used a Google Sheet, or a Google Forms thing on my guide, my Abyssrium guide. And like, you can use it without editing permission and stuff, and every once in a while people request permission for it. There's, there's no reason to do that, but people do it anyway. I just need to disable notifications from Drive. Give me my troubles. We have the full outfit, should I just wear it or what? Why is it assembled? I don't think so. Wearing this seems like an extremely bad idea. Oh, I can't wear it anyway. I can't use things on myself. Wear this trophy. I can't just use the outfit. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. I'm gonna call Jan. Jean. Dead, dude. Whatever. She's dead. It's fine. Samantha. There's no reply. Having a nice call here. Nothing but static. I have this outfit. Hello. Sorry, Trilby. Why, father? Should have father killed you. Demon, demon, demon child, etc. Still hurts. Yep, definitely hurts. Hello, prince. You're definitely a demon. One, two. Bridge keeper, the king, the floating man, the floating man. I killed. No, hold me. What now, Janine, Prince? Janine, it hurts. Hold me, and it, it still hurts. Your fault. Defoe, Defoe Manor. You're the last one. I think so. The others all went to the house. They never came out. Does that mean anything to you? Does that spark any memories? I think the others were killed. I think that images start to flash before my eyes. To not matter here, being here feels wrong. I think it's supposed to have been destroyed. Trilby is very calm about all of this. In what way destroyed? Fire. It's supposed to have been burnt down. Perhaps you should address this inconsistency. Yes. How? I can show you where to get some petrol. Oh hell yeah, dude! <laughs> Inspect the darkness. Look itself. I feel disconnected, like I'm looking down on myself from the outside. Can't see anything. I'm supposed to not through the smoked visor. Not forgone enough to be talking to myself. Use the lens. Hardly move. Where the hell am I? I don't think so. Use the darkness. It's moving. Oh shit! Focus to cod. It's not really happening. Tarpaulin. It's like a large cuboid object covered in a tarpaulin. I don't think it belongs here. 
Some kind of document lying on it. Glad it's my journal. Children of the King rejoice, for it is the, the time is finally at hand. Our patience for these last few centuries will finally be rewarded. Two hundred years ago, the body of the Bridgekeeper was destroyed. Two hundred years from now, the soul of the Bridgekeeper will meet the same fate. These are known as the Bridge Events. Their significance was so great that they met they sent ripples of weakness through the timeline itself, echoing off to both the past and the future. The 28th of July, 2189, the ripples from the past will collide with the ripples from the future, creating an area of extreme weakness between the two realms. The third bridge event, the destruction of the mind, occurs at this point. The force of the explosion will penetrate the area of weakness and form the bridge between the realms. Over this bridge, the King Chizo will come. He will come save us, all, and all the men of technology, from sin. We must, however, be alive to enjoy this new age of perfect purity, so it's important the complex and ophthalmology building be evacuated at least one week prior to the bridge event. What's in the box? Oh, oh no. It's a bomb! There's enough nano-explosive here to atomize the country. Or the county. Whatever. Either, either one is bad. Oh my god, JC! A bomb! I'm gonna try and disarm. Wait a second. The bomb's already been defused. Wiring under the control panel's been ruined. As long as it's not damaged, this thing isn't gonna explode. Well, let's ruin it then. A bomb! Let's just hobble up here. Shit! Yep. Oh, good. No. Thanks, Trilby. No! What a prime bit of real estate. Nobody around. Boom. So, did we just do the bridge thing? Six days later. You're watching UCBC News. Investigation continues to the search of the results of a nano-explosive detonation in the county of Buckinghamshire. Six days ago. Blast completely demolished the ophthalmology building would have been purposely evacuated beforehand. Several lead ophthalmologists are being held through questioning. Though the detonation had not been focused, phone to cause loss of life, two individuals seen in the area have been reported missing. How could that possibly not have? Environmentalists are already calling it the biggest ecological disaster in the entire history of the country. Maru? The investigation continues. Hello? Hello? Yes! It's that guy. As an avatar of destiny, I cannot judge. I cannot afford to question events, only encourage them to take place as history demands. And yet I wonder. I wonder why the Order of Blessed Agonies expected Chizo to enter this universe. After all, a creature so dependent on a magic could not possibly survive in a world where there is none. The prophecies were wrong. Well, thank fuck. Freehorn the tall order the tall man himself? All deliberately misled by the pain elemental. But why? For what purpose was the bridge really constructed? It was open for mere seconds. Nothing came through from the ethereal realm. Did Chizo's plan simply fail? Or was his intention not to send, but to receive? None of this matters. I led Dakot to the destiny demanded of him by the timeline. Now I must wait. Two centuries from now, my younger self will require my guidance. The eternal cycle must be set in motion again. Well, I do not judge, I feel no regret. I find I do not relish this task. So he just wanted Trilby? Was that the thing? In the 18th century, the prophet Jack Freehorn 
put to paper the three books of Chozo and the blood of the twelve sacrifice still fresh in his hands. <laughs> Literally. The book of the prince, the book of the victims, and the book of the bridge. The clerical tenant in the, in the faith of the order of the blessed agonies. It was not known, even by the highest acolytes, likely not even by the prince himself, is that there was a fourth book. It seemed to contradict the other prophecies, for he had discarded the draft, thinking it was a garbled message. This was the book of the new prince. Here is what it said. Oh. Hello. On the day of the bridge, the prince returned to the court of the king and bowed low before his presence. The king was greatly wrathful, and he said to the prince, Why have you returned, O prince? You would betray his king? Would you defy his own flesh? Why do you have an eye inside of you? Oh! With those words, the king threw down the prince and stripped away his vestments. The prince once again became the arrogant man. The arrogant man said, I only wanted to please you, my king. I know you schemed to replace me, but I betrayed you. It was only to remain your prince. The king replied, I have not forgotten that you are the arrogant man, and still your arrogance blinds you. Were you to question my plans, you little man of linear time? Who are you to believe he knows what is best for I? I who has drunk the agonies of a million men. I who has seen to the edge of forever. You are not my prince, so oh arrogant man. You were never truly of my flesh. Bloop. thing I saw. The king took the vestments of the prince and gave them to the man of purity. The man of purity became the new prince. And the arrogant man wept aloud, why have you betrayed me, my king? What have I done that I should earn this wrath? Come the reply, long ago you offered the chance to fulfill the role of the bridge as being of both magic and technology. You could have proven your commitment to your king. You could have chosen your successor. But your arrogance you resisted and created the child to become the bridge in your stead. After you learned the true purpose of the bridge, you had the audacity to subvert my will. Weakly you sought to convert your destiny and the destinies of others. But rejoice, arrogant man, for I have provided another opportunity to fight your fate. Simply defeat your successor and return to my side. Ready, fight! Oh. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> Oh shit. Hello. My king. It hurts. Protect him always. Well, I guess... Hey Trilby. How you doing? I guess that's what the, the dude in red meant when he said that I had a really bad future. Hey arrogant man. What's up Trilby? How you doing? It hurts. Trilby, it hurts. It really hurts. I'm just gonna go away now, apparently. I don't know. I don't know. I just tried to look. Take his place. It hurts. I can't even talk to him. It just hurts. Now I've got the pointy stick. Pointed sticks? Yep, I've got the pointed stick now. And some eyes in the background. 
The arrogant man knew the name of the king, the book of the new prince. Dun dun dun. Well. <laughs> In a way, it's a happier ending than I was expecting. I was honestly expecting just that Chizo would just destroy everything. But that's... That's pretty cool, actually. What do you mean, he's back? That was, uh... Whatever, but... The bridge was to bring in the new successor, which was, uh, Takab. He wanted to replace the arrogant man. Who was the wizard dude. And... It all went according to plan, apparently. Trilby's. No Trilby's were harmed in the making of this game. Oh man, remember when something awful was relevant? The end. Dun dun dun. That, that was that was actually pretty cool. I, I was a little bit iffy on some things early on, but I, I think that closes it up pretty damn well, actually. I was honestly expecting worse. After after seven days, like I like Trilby's notes because it kind of it fit it fit on its own. Um, the seven days things it's kind of dumb. Chizo doesn't actually have any purpose. He just wants suffering. I guess he doesn't want to destroy everything. But, because like the man in red says, like, if he comes here, apparently he'll just straight up die. Because there isn't magic here. So his purpose was never to come here. Something about Chobi's notes was super good. Yeah, I think Chobi's notes was fantastic. It, um... I think, for one thing, I think the, the, the interface in general and the whole aspect of it being like the notes that really worked well uh, in a way the, the, the point and clicks they were good but uh, I think that the, they were less I think it was a lot clumsier to do the point and click crap so Chizo needs a prince because he can't directly affect the world of technology uh, so he needs a prince to cause pain there's extras that might explain more. Uh, are the extras... Oh, there's an extras thing. Countdown. Read me first.txt. Countdown. Of short, of three short text adventures intended to... Uh, the Countdown. A series of three short text adventures intended to sh foreshadow the plot of the fourth and final installment of John, John Defoe Quadrilogy. The game was written in Form 7, so you'll need a Z-code interpreter to... To play it. I guess this was back before Twine when making things like that was much easier. Filing cabinet. Oh, hey, there's some. Let me, let me see this filing cabinet crap. Uh, start the filing cabinet. It's just some images. Um, let me go through these here. Uh,. Cabadath, most secret. Even above top secret is most secret. That's that's MI6 stuff. Or MI7, excuse me. MI6 is for filthy casuals. Cabadath, the tall man, the prince, the arrogant man. Circa 90 BC. Occult lich. Undead since 55 BC. Affiliation, known history, criminal, <laughs> criminal record. <laughs> Accounts of unauthorized occult, unauthorized occult activities, um, and supernatural murder too numerous to mention dating back to the 16th century. Could have souls placed inside a tree, blah, blah, blah. Damaged wood on July 28th of each year. Captain Death also figures prominently in the prophecies of the Order of Blessed Agnes, he believed to be an avatar. Recruitment prospects slim to none. Cannot be reasoned with or distracted from his agenda. 
Let me see if any of the other ones are interesting. Defoe. Counts of unauthorized. I like how Defoe somehow has a lower chance of being recruited than frickin' Cabadath, the prince. Following the Count of Cabadath incident, Special Agent Trilby. I think this is just kind of supplemental to like help you understand the stuff. Like some of this... Oh, some of this was actually in the game. Like, there's the Lich file that's in here. This is kind of, if you didn't understand it, read this. Yeah, notes was pretty great for streaming, too. Um, Free Horns Blaze, they just showed a person soul and they killed it, so the Red Man killed himself. Yeah, I can't believe no one would have done that themselves. Like, just kill yourself with the thing, and then you are free, I guess, but... Whatever. I guess people were greedy and wanted to control people rather than do that. Lich file. Meth file. Ever since they shot in the idol on spaces and chain. Oh, hey. Uh, this one's kind of interesting. Uh, ever since I shot the idol into space, I've been seeing it again in my dreams. That strange vision I had in the hotel. Huge room like a hangar, but advanced. Futuristic. What was it? What connection does it have to the Defoe's in the Order of Blessed Agonies? Uh, John Defoe's soul. Torment of crew of six trusting friends, creating suspicion that tears them apart and ultimately destroys them. Abed and Simone, who died because I failed to save them. Saw monstrosity stalking shiny metal hallways. So yeah, it's just kind of the whole thing where the dot different times... Are kind of connected. Well, that's enough streaming for a Sunday, unfortunately. Um, especially since I started at 2. Um, but that was a blast, though. And like I said last time, I guess spooky streams, we're just going to keep going. November is just more October, because I didn't have enough time to stream all the spooky stuff that I wanted. So we're just going to keep it rolling for now. Um... Like I said, Witch's House, Middens, um, Mouth Sweet, which I meant to play today. But I figured I wanted to wrap this up while it was still fresh in everybody's minds. Because this is not the sort of thing that you want to, you know, forget about and then come back to. It's really context heavy. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah, it is kind of hard to discuss in the 200 character limit on the on the YouTube chat. I guess it's bigger than than a tweet, which is nice. But uh... <laughs> Bri is still confused. Uh, I think they'll be discussing it in the Discord. I think you're you're in the Discord, right, Pariah? Uh, yeah, I think Sun and Music are gonna be talking about that in the Discord. Uh, is the stream over? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop streaming here in just a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna. Oof, I'm probably gonna leave because I got I gotta finish a couple things. Oh, you're not. Um, let me. Um, this. Excuse me. You can just use sirtapto.com Discord or this. Um, just use that link, and you can hop in. Um. You should see lots of familiar faces. Lots of the people that go to my streams are in there. Um, I'm probably going to be gone for the night because I got to... Well, for one thing, I'll probably be in bed in like a couple hours. Uh, some other stuff I want to finish. And uh, yeah, that was fun. Horror streams are going to continue. Thanks for watching, everybody. Are in the Discord. YouTube said you post too many comments? Huh. I don't think there's any way to like, like there's very few limitations that I can lift in chat, unfortunately. Like I'd like people to be able to like post links because we can just ban people in a problem anyway. But yeah, see you everybody.